Oh my gosh, hello guys! It's been such a long time since I've been on here. It feels so good to be back and I've missed this so much. Okay, I know I haven't been on for a few minutes. I just needed some time to kind of just figure things out in life and find a schedule that works. And uh, unfortunately, I cannot find a schedule that works for me when it comes to like recording things for YouTube. So we're just going to go with the flow of things. So I asked on Twitter um, what game you guys would like me to play if I was to come back onto YouTube. And a lot of you said Overlook RP. I don't really know what this game is called anymore, if it's still Overlook Bay or Overlook RP, Roleplay, whatever. I'm just gonna say the new Overlook Bay just because it's weird saying Overlook RP. I don't know. But I am back today and we are in the game and a lot of you guys asked me what um, my first thoughts are on this game and I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys today So if you would like to know my thoughts on the new Overlook Bay, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into the video Okay, so when Overlook Bay 2 or Overlook RP launched, I was very discouraged to be honest and not because of like the things that I was hearing. Like I didn't even know, um, I didn't even go on Twitter during that time just because I was just busy with life and stuff, but I really wanted to see and check it out for myself. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was very discouraged because as you can see, the map has changed and I'm the type of person who likes to feel comfortable with a certain thing or just be in the know of things, I guess. Um, now that Overlook Bay has changed, I don't know where anything is at and I wanted to sell my fruit for my fruit trees and I didn't even know where to find Clyde the farmer if that's what his name is still. It's been such a long time that I don't even know what people's names are anymore or at least the NPC's names are. But at least I found the wishing well. I don't know why it says zero wishes right here, although I have 192 that actually carried over from um, the original Overlook Bay. But yeah, guys, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know what this is for. Actually, I do know what that was for. I actually redeemed the pet last night, but at first I didn't know what that was for. Um, I don't... I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like this down here. I don't like having to press this button to access things. I would just want to press like my backpack and then my vehicle it used to be like that during the first Overlook Bay. But I will say though, I do really like the animations, the newer animations. Um, this is, the way that I'm riding the skateboard is much different than it used to be. So that's pretty awesome. And another animation that I want to show you guys is the pet animation. So I didn't notice this at first until I went to make wishes at the wishing well. So let me see if I can find Marshmallow. Okay, so Marshmallow has some new animations and it's so cute. Look at that. How cool is that? It's not just like flying or anything. He like, he has some bit of a personality, which is pretty cool. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, I don't mean to leave you. Come on, Marshmallow, let's go. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pick you up because I don't want to drag you along with me. But um, those are one of the newest things. Another thing I noticed is that the water looks different. Um, I don't know. It never used to be like this. It used to actually like move and stuff, but it doesn't really move like how it did. And I wonder why they did that. I wonder if it's because of the lagginess maybe that was to help fix the lag another thing is these people but um you can't actually talk to these people which you guys probably already know by now and some of you actually said that you wish you can speak to these people and honestly i don't really know i feel like these things want to kill me if i like walk near it or something i don't know i find those things really weird why do they all look the same um maybe they should experiment with different looks Okay, so let's go ahead and explore the rest of the map. So this is the city hall, I think. This is where you spawn when you first enter the game. It's kind of just like the original Overlook like, Bay where you kind of just spawn in this little circle area. Um, this used to be an update border, or at least it was the very first in the original. 
but now it's not an update board so I don't really know where to go to find new update information I really like the update board um, but this is kind of just like the Christmas update guys I haven't really played much but I'm just now catching up so uh, hopefully I can collect all the pets and everything before time is up I don't think I will have enough time to collect these guys right here unless I really grind today um, I bought one of these but I don't really want to spend 4,000 Robux just for this pet. Um, it's pretty cute, but I don't want to, so <laughs> I'm going to have to pass on that. But guys, this is the new map. It's um, it's quite different. Uh, the movie theaters is right here. If you want to sell um, fish, then you can find Marlin Barnacle here. Yeah, Marlin Barnacle. This is like a new river area. I really like the original that we had. And then if we go over here, this is where the lighthouse is, which is this pretty unique. I really like how you have to go through these bridges and rocks to get to the new island. The new island. Um, this is the beach. Still really like the original, guys. I'm still not over the fact that things have changed. And I know that change is good, but at the same time, I still really like the original. Um, these all just look different now. Like they went for a completely different look. I haven't seen this yet, but this is cool right here. We have like a little boating dock. Um, it's just a completely different vibe. Like things still look the same, but then they don't. Like it's not the original Overlook Bay um, style, I guess you can say. But this is like the little fairgrounds. And then the little coastal cup, which is cool. Okay, so we're gonna go inside and I will say I really do like the new animations to go inside because the doors used to be glowy before and I don't think you can work actually. I don't think jobs are here just yet. Somebody mentioned that um, once jobs and stuff like that come back, then things will start to feel a little bit better, but I don't think you can work or at least that's what I've heard. Oh, I think that's a phone. Somebody left their smartphone, okay. I'm starting to see more roleplay things. Maybe we'll have like a phone in the game that we can access to call people. Um, I did notice something though that was different here. So you can actually have family. And I think I talked about this in things that I want to see in Overlook Bay. Um, it's been a while since I've watched those videos. So I think that was something I talked about and that's pretty cool that they added it. I'm not saying that they added it because of me, but because it might have just been a good idea overall. So here's like a little bus bench area. This is cool. Maybe there's going to be buses that will take you around the town. So that's pretty awesome. That'll be something new. A lot of the buildings on the inside feel like look the same. Um, we have people standing outside now. <laughs> uh, let's see if things are still the same in here. It looks like they are. No apartment available. So you're telling me I need to buy this again when I bought it before? Okay, guys, I want to go to my neighborhood or my house, and this is different too. Um, this whole navigation thing, I have not been able to explore that much, but I will say it's pretty nice, and I do like the new sound effects. Oh. This is a cool song. Okay, so this is another thing that I noticed. So you actually have to manually put your house down. I don't know why they did this. Maybe they did it just to prevent lag again. So let's go ahead and place our house here. So that's pretty cool. And another thing is your fruit trees are not in the front anymore. You have to go to a separate um, loading screen session. I don't know. There's a button right here to access your your trees. Um, I did these earlier today, so I don't have anything on them, but this is kind of just like a cute little backyard thing. I think this is cute. This is pretty cute. Maybe one day in the future we'll be able to decorate our backyards. So this is the thing that I didn't know. Um, oh, look at that. You have a driveway now. That's cool. Because before you didn't have anywhere to park your cars. So this is pretty nice. This circle thing wasn't here before. But this is where you can go to sell your fruit. So instead of selling it right next to the grocery store, Clyde is now located in the neighborhood. And I thank the person who told me this on Twitter. I don't remember who it was, but somebody told me on Twitter um, where to find and sell your fruit. So yeah, this is a pretty interesting neighborhood. The layout is definitely different. This is new right here. This is like the scrap metal place. Um, I've been getting a lot of scrap metal from Making Wishes and I was like, what is that? So I have that much scrap metal and it looks like it's one of those 
spin the wheel type of things again this is pretty common in an overlook bay so i have that much and hopefully we can get something cool is that like a scrap metal buy or something oh my gosh so this is just another way to get wishes and make emeralds um i used to call it gems just because it was easier so this is the grocery store and state peachy shop which is a lot different looking than what it was um i remember seeing that this it was supposed to get an update anyways so if I go this way, I believe there is a college or something. This is the college. This is cool. So we had a school near the, I believe it was the beach. And then this is kind of what substitutes it, I believe. So that's pretty cool. And then if we go more down this way, this is where the park is. The Fruit Loops. I don't, I honestly, guys, I have no clue what this is about right here. Um, I've seen some people talk about it, but not too much. Um, from what I've heard, not a lot of people like this just because it was an advertisement, but I'll have to check that out later. The park is smaller. I miss the original park, guys, and the pond that was in the park. Gosh, I am so tied to the old map. It's super hard to get used to this. Um, the taco and pizza trucks, these are kind of here in the old map, but who guys who remembers the original pizza store who's played since then i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have played since then but <laughs> um that's just another tunnel to go to the neighborhood oh the mining is up here okay um let's go into mining and see if anything's changed i don't think anything's really changed in here um oh wait it did change this is not the original map either <gasps> okay this is cool yeah they definitely changed this map because it's not how it used to be back then oh my goodness wow i wonder if the molten mines are the same <gasps> oh that's interesting look at all these pickaxes are these like new pickaxes okay guys i noticed that when i started fishing in this game i noticed that my levels weren't the same i used to be president and all my levels were leveled up, but it's not anymore. And I'm just like, what? What even? Ooh, 10 wishes, 10 wishes. Yeah, they completely like redid everything. So this is pretty interesting. Um, would you guys like me to do a video of like just exploring everything and doing new things? I'm sure you guys will like, I'm sure you guys would already know how to do stuff in here. I'm still like a noob to this. So look at this, I'm a level one. I'm a level one, so technically I can't even go to the Molten Mines again. So I guess that's just something new to do again. What else? I don't think we explored... Uh, what is this called again? This island? I completely forgot. Um, Pearl Paradise, is that what it's called? Oh man, they, they made that whole new map just to like merge it with like the original city. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I definitely miss the old, the old everything. That island was beautiful too, guys. I don't even know. I like, I remember this being there, Nebula, the little nightclub that was there. Guys, I don't even know. Like, I, I really love that map that they had and the houses and everything. Um, let's go ahead and see if I still have my apartment Pro Paradise because I worked really hard on that apartment and I even worked really hard on my first apartment, so I don't really know. No apartment available. <gasps> no, my apartment with all my build hacks. <gasps> okay, wait, no, we're good. Okay, we're good, guys. I was scared for a second. I did not want to lose this because I worked so hard in this apartment, but why is it, why is everything super bright now? It never used to be this bright before. Oh my gosh, I feel like I can barely see in here. It looks like everything is still the same from how I left it, so that's good. I just can barely see anything because it's super bright in here and I don't know why. My photo wall is still here with everything. I still need to update that with all of the newer photos. All right guys, so I think we pretty much went over most things. Like definitely the UI is different. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely the UI is a little bit different from what I remember it being. I actually kind of like this a little bit better. 
Um, let's see what else. So this still had, this still has the same layout as last time. Is this a little task? Oh my gosh! This thing did not make a noise at all. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at all these gems I did not even collect yesterday when I was playing. I had no idea because in the old overlook bay, this thing used to like pop out and jump out to remind you that, hey, you completed a task, but now it doesn't do that anymore. Um, this still kind of looks the same, the same layout and everything, obviously like different colors. And so oh, wait, I don't know how to get to my trees from here because the little tree button is usually what's there. <gasps> oh my gosh, don't tell me our apartment, like tree place. I don't know what you call it, like garden is gone? That was so pretty too. Oh my gosh, guys, everything is so different. I don't even know what to say. All right, so I think I covered mostly everything. If I didn't cover certain things, then I'll probably make like a part two or something. Again, like I said, we're just going with the flow of this. We're not being super strategic like we were in the past when it came to Overlook Bay. Like, oh my gosh, guys, I was like crazy. I had like a plan and crazy strategic about everything. Um, I did want to open some pet pods some of these holiday pet pods before i left because i did not do a video where i can you know explore the christmas update we can buy one more honestly i have not bought everything here this thing is robux i think it is yeah this is robux don't think i want to spend that much just yet we'll see um but i did want to open some of these pet pods um, every time there's like new pet pods, I always at least save like a few just to have in my collection just because I'm like really big on collecting things. No, I have so many of those presents already. Oh, a lizard. Okay, so that's my second lizard like that. Um, I just need three more pets. Yeah, I just need three more of the missing pets. I keep getting a bunch of these presents. Oh, I have four. Okay, that's cool. I don't know why I have all these empty spaces to be honest. Um, I was really hoping that they combined the same pet because I'm like scrolling forever through this, my inventory is like this. So that was one thing I wish they added. So instead of showing this much, let's just say like I had one and there's like a number that said like 20 or something. Instead of having to scroll all the way down just to access certain pets. Um, I noticed that my pods, <gasps> wait, I should have saved those pods because I had a whole bunch of diamond pods. Diamond. So yeah, I have like 23 of these. Maybe I should save these instead of opening them because I think the pods are different actually. I noticed this thing is new too. I thought it took us to like an actual another place in that map, but this takes us to a different game and I don't know why they did that. I noticed they've been doing a lot of advertisements for other games and weird stuff that they have never done before so that's interesting okay so let's go inside the pet shop and i noticed that these changed right here i have not bought in my first pod yet from these vending machines there used to be a little um little basketball court type of thing here but it's not there anymore they don't have it unless they moved it somewhere else this is still the same <gasps> Wait, they got rid of the pet pod thing that was here that showed all types of pet pods. <gasps> what? Oh man, they got rid of that too? Guys, so many of our memories are, have been burned in Overlook Bay and I'm sad to say that. But yeah, this is pretty much it for my thoughts and impressions on Overlook Bay RP. I'm excited to see what they bring to the new game and the new changes, but then again, I still really love the original version because that's kind of how I've always known Overlook Bay was the original version and I just, I don't really know. I don't really know what to say just yet. Uh, maybe as time goes on, maybe they might bring some things back, maybe not. Um, I just need time to kind of just move on from the old game and accept the new. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I hope to make more 
um, coming up this next few months. Thank you guys so much for staying. Subscribe to me, by the way. Even though it's been like three months since I've uploaded, I still have 12,000 of you guys still subscribe to me. So I thank you so much for that. Um, I definitely will be making more content, not just Overlook Bay focused anymore. I'm just going to be doing a lot of other videos now on other games just because it's kind of hard to... I mean, I'm still learning how to play this game, so I don't really know exactly everything just yet. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the Donut Squad. I would really love to have you here. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!